Hello, I'm Bunny, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you how to encrypt HBase table in EMR cluster with AES encryption. Let's get started. You can encrypt a new or existing HBase table on your EMR cluster using the transparent encryption feature. This feature encrypts H file data and write ahead logs at rest. Note, when you use Amazon S3 as the data source rather than HDFS, you can protect the data at rest and in transit using server-side and client-side encryption. Here, we will be going through the steps when you use HDFS as a data source. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to EMR Console. Choose a cluster that has HBase or create a cluster with HBase in software configuration. Use SSH to connect to the master node and your core nodes. Now create a secret key of appropriate length for AES encryption using the key tool command. Provide a password and alias. Then add these properties in HBase site.xml on each node of EMR cluster. The property hbase.crypto.master.key.name is where you specify the alias. The property hbase.crypto.keyprovider.parameters is where you provide the path to hbase.jks and the password. Now make sure to copy hbase.jks file from master to all the nodes in the cluster to the same location as given in the hbase.crypto.keyprovider.parameters property. As I have passwordless SSH between my master and core nodes, I will use scp command. Once done, restart hbase services from master and all the nodes. Please note that for EMR versions based on Amazon Linux 2, you need to use systemctl command. Log into HBase shell. Create a table with AES encryption. You can describe the table to see that it is encrypted. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>